So what do you think, guys? What do you think of my hair? <laughs> I know, huh? Um, this is that ponytail I showed you a while ago that I bought, and a number of you have said, when are you going to wear your ponytail? When are you going to try it out? So to be to be truthful, um, I've been playing with it, but you know, it's kind of um, difficult to keep on because it's really heavy right now for my shorter hair. And I, so I put it on today and I thought I would just do this little video clip of it. I don't know if I'll publish this, but I, so I asked Jay, what do you think of my hair? And he looked at me and he had this like blank expression on his face. And I said, well, do you think, do you think I, you know, do you think this is cute on me? Do you think I look silly, you know, um, and all that? And he just, he just said, he said, you look like an old lady. I said, really? And he said, yeah, you look like an old lady. So I'm thinking, mm, okay, you know, I guess I look like an old lady. That's better than looking like an old lady who's trying to look 16, which is how I kind of think I look, like an old lady trying to look like I'm 16. Or, you know, this reminds me of, um, oh, who was it that used to wear hair like this in a TV show when I was growing up? Oh. Um, I think it was, um, was it Bewitched that used to have her hair wrapped up? Or was it, no, it was I, I Dream of Jeannie or something like that? She used to have her hair wrapped up. That's what I think I look like. Well, not like her, but that style. <laughs> well, Phil. Hey guys, I'm back. I am going to hopefully keep this part of the video very short because I've talked about my evening routine and my morning routine, my skincare routine a number of times in previous videos, but I've been asked by a number of you to update it. So uh, like anything else, sometimes we switch our skincare around depending on the seasons and, and things of that nature. And of course, what I use may not work for you as you all know. Know, but I am really truly a creature of habit so I've turned down trying out products that involve deep skin care because I don't want to mess with what I know is working for me so that I need to say and I've had you know my uh, two previous videos that I have sort of like you know the best of my trash and the things that I keep rebuying for my health and fitness and for my uh, skincare that I've already done so let me just say that I do believe that the collagen supplement that I've spoken about that I've been on for a long time has a big part of my skincare and how my skin has reacted to all the other skincare because I'm getting collagen in a supplement form in a powder form that I take twice a day. And I really think that feeding my body from the inside out, especially the collagen, helps all the stuff that I'm gonna put on my face ultimately work better and faster. So my evening skincare, I'm not gonna go into derma rolling. That would be a whole separate thing and I've already done that. My evening skincare starts with washing my face. I tend to right now use these two products. I've mentioned them both before. The CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser, and I don't know how to say this, but this is the Andalou Apricot Probiotic Cleansing Milk that I got. I got this at TJ Maxx. When I find it, when I see it, I scoff it. This is the third bottle of this that I've used this year. This is the second or third bottle that I've used of this. Um, when I say this year, I should say 2017. So I am the type of person that I believe in washing my face a couple of times. So I make sure that I remove all my makeup and then I'll clean, I cleanse again. And then I usually go over with a toner. On a night that I'm derma rolling, I'm just going to use my witch hazel. And I, and this is the one I'm currently using. It's an alcohol free rose petal. I like it. It, it doesn't have a, a, any kind of a smell for me, but that would be the toner that I would use after washing. On the nights that I'm not derma rolling, it is going to be a combination. I'm going to either use the Ordinary Glycolic Acid 7% Toning Solution, which is always on back order. Thankfully, I have my back order already in. And then um, this Korean skincare, Claire's, I really, really do like this. I will list all of these products below. So these are my toners 
that I typically use after washing. If I have to go in with any kind of a scrub, the two that are my favorite, and this one has been my favorite for a long time, is the Body Mary. Obviously, I'm not gonna use this glycolic scrub on the same time I'm using the glycolic toner. There's some things that you just have to be careful that you don't overdo. And the other one that I'm really loving, which is newer to my skincare, is the Derma E, or is that a C? I can't see it. Micro abrasion scrub, micro abrasion scrub. This I also scoffed at TJ Maxx. So I'm really liking those two. Once I've done that, I've cleansed my, I cleanse my skin. These are the two products I normally use. I have this little thing I got at the dollar store. It's a little rubbery thingy. And then I have my Foreo Mini and I also have the dupe. I have, I love these. I love these two products. I use these all the time. Every now and then, I'm not consistent. That's probably why I haven't seen any, any wonderful things about um, this doing for my skin. I've seen nothing is this reverse anti-aging light therapy skin clinical. I just turned it on. If I were to maybe use this more consistently, maybe I would see some real results from them. But for me and my schedule is extremely, extremely time consuming. So I will be the first to admit that I don't use this consistently. And I think probably because I've really not, I've really not noticed an impact of this when I use it or when I don't use it on my skin care. So I, I'm just not gravitating to it. But anyways, when I'm all done that, when I've toned, when I've done all of that, I usually, whether it's a derma rolling night or not, I usually go in with two sides serums. Sometimes after I've done that, before I do my serums, depending on the night, I'm a mask freak. I love masks and I have many different types of masks. I, I stick to masks that are for anti-aging those types of masks. I buy my masks very cheaply at TJ Masks, usually, or Marshalls, or Sephora, or Ulta when they're on sale. I don't spend a whole lot of money on masks. So I typically will take two masks when I mask and I put one on my face. And then sometimes I cut the other one half or sometimes I just fold it depending. And I usually go down my neck and into the beginning of my chest, but that would be a separate video. I love masking. So when I'm all done masking, I let all that serum, I let it all smooth go into my skin. And then I normally will go in with my two ni my niacinamide and my buffet. These are my two ordinary, these are the serums I use all the time. I think if I had to give up one, I could not give up the niacinamide. I absolutely love niacinamide. I love the benefits I'm getting from it. I think this is a fabulous product and the, t the price point is excellent. So I usually put my niacinamide all over my clean face after I've masked and I usually let that sit in. Now again, this is at night, so I usually have plenty of time. I let that sit in, sink in, and then I will go through my skin with the buffet. I don't use as much of this, maybe a couple of drops. I go through, I make sure I cover my, you know, especially my wrinkly, wrinkly areas, my nose, um, down here, I should say, my lips and stuff like that. I let all that soak in. Now I stop my skincare routine early on in the evening, which for me works out the best because I want it all to really, soak into my skin before I do my last part of my skincare. And I also want the last part of my skincare to soak in before I go to sleep and I'm rubbing blankets and pillows and, or anything of that nature. So after that's settled in, I go in with my, my Retin-A, my Tretinoin. I um, typically now use the 1% all over my face. I use a pea, side, pea size, I have the gel, it goes on, I usually dab like this and then I, I gently rub it in. I will take the other two, I typically go in with my .05 and I put a tiny, tiny bit and I go right along my brow bone around here and I go close to my crow's feet and around closer to my eye bag area than I do with my 1%. Then I take my 0.25, I know this sounds complicated, and I take a drop or two or three of rosehip seed oil in my Retin-A and I mix it in my hands. And then I just go all the way down my neck in, oh sorry, I keep touching the mic, I'm not used to wearing the mic, into my chest area. I also make sure that I coat my hands. Uh, very, very good with that. I let that, all depends if my skin is really dry. I mean, there was a point in time where I would immediately put on my bee venom cream. Now I'm letting it maybe sit, settle in maybe for about a half hour. Again, it all depends on my timing. But my tried and true is my bee venom face mask. And this is the one that I get at TJ Maxx. I've talked about this numerous times. I've obviously been using it for a long time. 
I have a backup and a backup. I put this on very, very generously all over my face and I will tell you, it stings like all get out. At that same time, I go in with, and I'm not gonna vouch for this because it's too new to me in my skincare routine, but it's winter time, it's dry. I take the IT Cosmetics Secret Sauce. This is probably the most expensive cream I own. It is pricey. I did get it with a um, the coupon with, I thought it was a 20% or 30, whatever it was on Sephora when I bought it. But in general, this is really pricey. I use a very, very little bit of this. I just dab a little bit of it on and I use this currently right around here on the edges of my eyes at night and then around here. That's all I'm using it for at night. I put that on almost right after the bee venom. And then after that settles in, I take whatever eyelash serum I'm going to be doing. Now, if I'm using a, an eyelash serum, because right now I'm testing one with the O'Carroll Show, I'll put the eyelash serum right along my eyelashes. And then I take my castor oil and I coat my eyebrows. That's what I do. And, and then at that point in time, I take a little bit of the Nivea and I just, a tiny, tiny little dab, and I put it on my, my fat pockets. Then I usually read for a while, I'm usually awake. If my skin feels dry um, at all, I, I will be, I'll put more lotion on before I go to bed. But in general, that's about it. My skin feels really good. I may put um, a lip conditioner on, but that's, that's usually it. I wake up in the morning, my skin, even though it's the middle of the winter and I have forced hot air heat, my skin is amazingly soft and plump and moist looking. I have no dryness. Uh, it's, it's unbelievable. And I really think that a lot of that has to do A, with my collagen supplement, my B Venom cream that I think really helps a lot with my moisture. I've tried out a couple of different creams. They haven't made my skin, even the dupe I just bought of this, uh, my, my skin feels different in the morning than when I use this. So that's, my routine, it works for me. I don't know what I'm doing, obviously. I'm not an expert. I'm just a real estate agent, <laughs> you know, dabbling in skincare like the rest of us. But you need to, if you try any of the products I talk about, you need to do your own research. There's always controversies. There's people that are against this and against that and people that are for this and for that. And, uh, you know, what works for me may not work for you. That said, you know, uh, my birthday is coming up and I'm, I'm seeing and feeling the years there and I'm thinking, yeah, you know, time isn't on my side. I wish I'd started the skincare routine when I was in my 30s, 20s, 40s, 50s. I really, really do. So, so I'm so thrilled for all of you younger ladies that are really on this quest. And I think it's, I just wish I had done it. But I'm also the type of person I'm very cautious before I jump in and do something derma rolling. Before I did that, I sat on my rollers for months before I picked it up. I was afraid. So uh, yeah, buying Retin-A overseas, I was afraid. You know, um, I'm not a big fan of subscriptions, but I have BoxyCharm. I'm, I worry. I check my uh, my checking accounts all the time. I worry about scammers. I worry about you know fraud. So. Um, yeah, you know, I have a separate checking account too, which kind of, I just deposit like, you know, a hundred bucks into it. And so I don't feel so like, what is the word, vulnerable? <laughs> Anyways, now I'm rambling, as Jay would say. But um, yeah, so that's my, my evening routine. If you want to know a little bit more about my morning routine or anything of that nature, I am, like many of you, trying to stop my, the neck is the first place that ages you almost in your hands. I've kind of given up on my hands, but I still have hope for my neck. My neck is not that great, but I keep hoping, keep hoping. So anyways, glass is half full. Things are good for sure. And I'm continuing on this quest. I wish you all, all amazing results on your skincare quest. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, share, and support the mature community on YouTube. Love you guys.